In this video, we'll show you how to replace the battery in a PEL-102 or PEL-103. The PEL-102 and 103 power and energy loggers from AEMC Instruments include an 8.4 volt nickel metal hydride battery pack for backup power. This battery, shown on the screen, can be replaced by the user, which we'll explain how to do in this video. Replacing the battery in the PEL is not a complicated process, but it must be performed carefully. Follow along with us to prevent damaging the instrument during this process. If you are unsure about replacing the battery pack on your own, you can return the PEL to AEMC for battery replacement. Also note that this battery only needs to be replaced every three or four years or so in normal use. Before you begin, make sure you have plenty of workspace that is free of debris, water, and other possible contaminants. Your workspace should be well lighted and provide sufficient room to perform the replacement procedures. To replace the battery pack, you will need an AEMC Instruments Replacement Battery Pack catalog number 2137.81. You can order this online through the website shown on the screen or the link in the description below. You'll also need a Torx T10 screwdriver. This type of screwdriver is also known as a star screwdriver, as well as tape such as masking, electrical, or other common types. A small non-conductive implement such as a drink stirring stick or toothpick will be useful. To replace the battery pack in the PEL 102 or 103, Disconnect the instrument from all electrical sources and sensor probes. Then follow these steps. Start by applying tape to the control buttons on the PEL front panel to keep them in place when removing the front cover from the back cover. Next, tape the end plates at the top and bottom of the instrument to the back cover, as shown on the screen, to ensure they stay attached when the front cover is removed. Turn over the PEL and remove the six fastening screws on the back of the instrument using the Torx T10 screwdriver. Carefully separate the front cover of the PEL from the back cover. The two covers fit together tightly, so it may be difficult at first to separate them. One way to make this easier is to turn the instrument on its side and then carefully separate each corner starting with the bottom right corner. Pull the covers apart, ensuring that the top and bottom end plates remain attached to the back cover. Do not allow either the top or bottom end plate to become separated from the back cover because this may damage the PEL input and connection terminals. If the PEL is damaged at any point, you can send it back to AEMC Instruments for repair. With the front cover removed, locate the battery pack inside the PEL. Gently remove and unplug the battery. A small implement such as a drink stirring stick can be useful for doing this. Next, inspect the plug of the replacement battery pack and note the position of the connector pins. Position the plug with the connector pins facing away from the battery pack compartment. In the example shown on the screen, the pins are facing in the direction indicated by the arrow. Then very carefully insert the plug by gently pushing it into the socket within the PEL. There is little room for this procedure so an implement such as a stirring stick or toothpick may be helpful in ensuring the plug is securely inserted. The Pell instrument will likely turn on when you plug in the connector. This is to be expected and can be disregarded. Place the replacement battery into the compartment provided for it within the Pell. When doing this, ensure that the battery's connector wires are positioned as shown in the illustration on the left. Be sure the wires do not cross over the top of the post as shown on the right. If the wires are placed over the post, they will likely be damaged when you replace the PEL front cover. Perform a final inspection of the inside of the PEL to make sure no debris has fallen inside. Then replace the front cover, carefully ensuring that it is securely in place. Turn the PEL over and replace the six fastening screws removed earlier. Finally, remove the tape applied at the beginning of this procedure and now the PEL is ready for operation. This concludes our video explaining how to replace the battery in a PEL-102 or PEL-103 AEMC instrument. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below or contact tech support. For more videos about AEMC products, please visit our YouTube channel or visit our website at www.aemc.com.